Hello, Pain Man here. Alright, so today's going to be a bit of a unusual video for this channel. But uh, hopefully it will be a continuous trend. Um, right here, what you are seeing is called Prime OS. It is an operating system that is uh, Android x86. And uh, it's very stable for such a young operating system. This operating system was built uh, well, it started back in uh, 2014, and uh, currently it is approximately seven, eight years old. Anyway, so today what I'm going to be showing you, amongst other videos that I'll be showing you later on in the future, is how well it works and how you can record, stream, or do many other things on Prime OS and how stable it is. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to show the desktop experience, record a webcam, and a capture device all at the same time. So what you currently see in front of you is the desktop. This is the desktop environment. Okay, it is a full functional 7th uh, gen uh, Android experience and I really enjoy and I've hardly been on my Windows uh, operating system. This is a dual boot um, Dell Optiplex 7010. Uh, now forgive me if I, the audio does cut out. Um, I have been having issues with audio uh, when it comes to the microphone. So we'll see how well this goes. This is literally like my seventh attempt to record this. I uh, never know, maybe later on down the road, uh, there will be software that will be literally built just for this operating system, which that would be really awesome. Alright, so let's get started. Currently what you see, this app right here, is AZ uh, Screen Recorder. Um, I've had a little bit of glitching with it, not a whole lot. Um, usually the only time it glitches is whenever um, I finish recording a really long video and I end up having to shut down the computer and restart it just to get it to do anything uh, otherwise it'll just keep crashing but now that we have it running and I can show you how to do this we're not going to open the webcam just yet which I will be using this app right here as the webcam app what this does is it allows you to connect a USB camera hence the name I have a Microsoft uh, HD camera that I'll be showing you the exact uh, name of it later if you'd like to look up information on it. And I'll also be showing you the information for the screen capture, which is an AV2 USB. Okay, so the app that we are going to be using for that is right here. So let's go ahead and get that open. All right. So what it is doing is it is asking me if I would like to use the device that is my Easy Capture uh, based device, which is my uh, capture device. And there it is, it has detected. Alright, I currently do not have any video feeding through this. I could have a PlayStation 3, uh, Xbox One through a AV adapter, so on and so forth. I would use my Elgato capture device, but unfortunately with uh, Linux or Android itself, it is not compatible. If you do know that there is a way to make it compatible or that there is, that it is in fact compatible, and I just do not know it, please leave a comment down below and uh, I will check into that later. So. It is currently uh, casting from the capture device if you see these little uh, bars that keep popping up over here. I really wish I would have hooked up a device, but hey, at least you know that it is feeding video from the capture device to it. Um, so let's continue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, and at this point this is where I usually have the audio cutting out. So I do apologize if that does happen. Um, hopefully we don't have too much trouble with that. Okay, so we're going to use this app for the 
uh, USB camera. Spoiler alert. Uh, there is going to be... Oh, hang on, hang on. I forgot to plug it in. Okay, little note. Whenever you open this app, you're going to want your webcam to be unplugged because otherwise this app can also detect your, as far as I know, it can detect your uh, camera. And we do not want that because then that's going to mess with your audio, that is going to mess with your camera, that is going to mess with your capture device, and then you're going to have to restart. And, you know. Anyway, so now let's connect camera. Ah, look at that. And it popped up information over here. I want to open that just once. That way you can change things in the future. I recommend just once. And we are going to push cancel on that. All right. And hello. Like I said, spoiler alert. Face reveal. Oh, okay. So anyway. Now that you have your capture and you have your webcam, and the reason that I have the webcam the size that I do is so that I still have at least an HD quality uh, capture of my, or uh, view of my webcam. Sorry, it's really early in the morning, so forgive me if I'm not fully here. Um, this way, the ad is not interfering too much with my camera view and then over here my capture is not being interfered by the ad now uh, hopefully that doesn't change in the future where they change where the ads are put but I've made it to the right screen size so that this and this does not interfere with either one of my items Okay, so there you go. You can record a video of you playing a game. Uh, I do plan on buying a uh, HDMI capture device, which I have found one on uh, the internet. Um, I will probably do a video on that soon if I do end up getting it. Um, as far as this is, I mean, hey, it works, and I have done this, I have recorded this way, I just do not want to take the time to put the console on there and possibly be copyrighted for small audio usage of a game, so on and so forth. This is a simple video just to show you how to be able to do it and that it is strong enough for it. Mm, with uh, Prime OS, like I mentioned, it is a uh, seven to eight year old con or, uh, uh, operating system. Uh, it is a little bit buggy. It is a little bit glitchy. Um, the community is very vast, very open minded, and um, the people at the website, uh, the forums, are very, very kind and respectful. I have been a member of their website for a little while now and uh, of their Facebook page and I uh, did come across an area where they were asking uh, what games are compatible, what apps are compatible and whenever they mention about the games um, it, my response was Pokemon Unite. Um, it runs flawlessly. I have almost no hiccups on that. I have noticed that Among Us does have a bit of a problem, and I have noticed a couple of other apps that have a couple of problems. But again, this was an operating system that was started back in 2014, so it's only a baby operating system, but definitely worthwhile and definitely an operating system that is worth checking out. So I recommend that you go give it a chance, and uh, if you have any uh, recommendations or any um, uh, wishes from the uh, Prime OS community uh, leave a comment down below and uh, I would say that that's pretty much it for today um, I've shown you that you can do this and this is a thing um, 
it's very simplistic very easy to do uh, if you get the formula right and I mean that's that's about it I will be continuing videos like this down the road uh, thank you for watching uh, hopefully this has been very helpful and uh, you enjoy the information oh I almost forgot so right here there you go that's my easy capture device and that is my uh, camera my camera is right here my easy capture device is right there um, now these are devices that I did use on my Windows uh, computer and uh, <clears throat> they work perfectly fine on here now there are a couple of uh, ways to avoid problems hiccups and so on and so forth what I recommend doing is looking up uh, stuff that is uh, Android hardware based that way you have less problems um, I am not going to recommend you any hardware that I have not tested I'm not going to recommend you any software that I have not tested again this is a Dell Optiplex 7020 or 7010 yeah my bad 7010 uh, and the microphone is sitting on top of a pop can and it's just a standard little microphone it's nothing fancy you could save a lot of money doing this and you get a really nice experience and it's very easy and it's cheap you don't have to go out and buy something big and fancy got it right here really really high performance uh, fill and uh, gaming experience on this is phenomenal I love it um, I'm not gonna say that it's great and that it's flawless but hopefully one day with a community that's big enough and it keeps growing you never know all right so this has been pain man and uh, I appreciate you all watching have a great day uh, hit the like button share subscribe and uh, stay notified for uh, any new videos that are coming up I'm gonna still be doing react OS videos I'm still gonna be doing uh, emulation videos so on and so forth uh, this was just something that I felt that I really needed to do uh, because there's just nothing on the internet when it comes to Prime OS and uh, it doesn't get the attention showed that uh, it definitely deserves. So, thank you for watching again, and have a great day.